Welcome to the iHistory channel where we delve into the fascinating and often mysterious corners of history. Today we embark on a journey that will take us into the shadowy realms of the occult, politics and ancient mythologies. We're venturing into the heart of early 20th century Germany, a time of upheaval and redefinition, to explore a society that was as enigmatic as it was influential. This is not just the story of a group of individuals, but the story of a nation seeking to redefine its identity in a time of chaos. So buckle up, dear viewers, as we prepare to unravel the mysteries of the Thule Society, an organization whose legacy still echoes through the annals of history. As we navigate through the layers of myth and speculation, we invite you to join us in this intriguing exploration. Are you ready? Let's begin. Our journey begins in the tumultuous landscape of post-World War I Germany, where the Thule Society was birthed. This was a time of uncertainty and upheaval, a time when a war-torn nation was struggling to regain its identity and sense of purpose. Amidst this chaos, the Thule Society emerged, offering a new vision of German identity rooted in mystical beliefs and ancient heritage. The Thule Society was founded by a group of individuals who were intrigued by the occult and the mysterious. They were driven by a deep-seated belief in Aryan roots and a fascination with Nordic mythology. In the midst of a nation seeking to redefine itself, they sought to create a new narrative that blended mystical beliefs with a fervent sense of nationalism. In its early days, the Thule Society was not just a gathering of like-minded individuals. It was a confluence of minds that believed in the power of the occult to shape the future of Germany. They were not just students of ancient lore and mystical symbols, they were visionaries who believed they could influence the course of history through their beliefs and practices. The Society's members, drawn from various walks of life, found in the Thule Society a platform to explore their interests in the occult and the esoteric, but they were not just passive seekers of knowledge. They were active participants who shaped the society's philosophy and direction, infusing it with their personal beliefs and interpretations of ancient Nordic mythology. The society's belief in a pure Aryan race and the power of ancient symbols and rituals was not just a philosophical stance, it was a call to action a call to reclaim a perceived lost heritage and to shape the future of Germany through the lens of their occult beliefs. It was a call that resonated with many, drawing in members from all strata of society. As the society grew, it attracted individuals who were not just interested in the occult, but also in the political implications of their beliefs. They saw in the Thule Society's philosophy a potential tool to influence German politics and shape the nation's identity. Thus, amidst chaos and the quest for identity, the Thule Society came into existence, a society that would leave an indelible mark on history, forever blurring the lines between the occult and politics between history and myth. Behind the closed doors of the Thule Society, a world of secret rituals and symbols thrived. The society's practices were steeped in mystery, a blend of occultism and nationalism that continues to fascinate and baffle historians. Let's delve deeper into this enigma. At the heart of the Thule Society were their secret rituals. These were not simple gatherings. They were intricate ceremonies that incorporated a rich tapestry of mystical symbols. These symbols, often borrowed from Nordic mythology and the runic alphabet, were believed to harness potent spiritual energies. They were used in rituals aiming to channel this energy with the goal of gaining insight, power, or even communicating with the gods of old. But the Thule Society's practices were not confined to the spiritual realm. Indeed, their rituals also had a political undercurrent. They sought to influence the course of German politics, aiming to reshape the national identity through a lens tinted with their own ideology. These ambitions were woven into their rituals, making them a potent mix of spiritual invocation and political proclamation. Yet, much of what transpired within the Thule Society's secret meetings remains shrouded in mystery. Records are scarce, and what has survived is often cryptic and difficult to decipher. This lack of clarity has led to speculation and theories, each more fascinating than the last. Some suggest the society was involved in black magic, others that they sought to attain immortality or even the power to alter reality. The society's pursuits were as much spiritual as they were political, a blend that added to their enigmatic allure. 
Their rituals imbued with a sense of mystery and a hunger for power were a reflection of the Thule society's inner workings. A world where the line between the spiritual and the political was blurred, where the quest for a new national identity was entwined with the pursuit of ancient wisdom and power. As we delve deeper into the Thule society, we find a world rife with secrets and enigma, an occult order that sought to blend politics with spirituality to reshape a nation through the lens of ancient wisdom and mystical rituals, a society that continues to spark curiosity and debate, leaving us wondering what truly transpired behind their closed doors. The Thule society's activities are a hotbed for conspiracy theories and legends, adding to their mysterious charm. With a society as secretive as the Thule, speculation runs rampant, fueling intrigue and fascination. There's a veil of mystery surrounding the society's activities, and beneath this veil, our imaginations take flight. We find ourselves on a quest, similar to the society's own alleged pursuit of mystical artifacts. Rumours suggest that the Thule society was not only interested in politics and nationalism, but also in the arcane and supernatural. There are tales of their members delving into the shadowy world of black magic, seeking to harness its power for their own ends. While the veracity of these claims remains debatable, the very idea adds a dark and thrilling dimension to the society's narrative. Other speculations center around the society's reported quest for mystical artifacts. Stories tell of their relentless search for objects of supernatural power, items they believed would grant them untold influence and dominance. Some say they sought the Holy Grail, others mention the Ark of the Covenant, and yet others whisper about the Spear of Destiny. These tales, whether fact or fiction, lend an adventurous and somewhat ominous tone to the society's story. Yet, the Thule Society was more than just a group of mystical artifact hunters. They were believed to be keepers of ancient wisdom, guardians of arcane knowledge. Some conjecture that they held secrets of the universe, keys to understanding the mysteries of life and death. These hypotheses, though unproven, contribute to the enigmatic allure of the Thule Society. But as with any secret society, separating fact from fiction can be a daunting task. The Thule Society, shrouded in secrecy and speculation, presents a tantalizing puzzle for historians and enthusiasts alike. Each rumor, each speculation, each unverified account adds a piece to this puzzle, painting a picture that's as captivating as it is elusive. Though speculative, these accounts have added a layer of intrigue to the society's legacy. The Thule Society's influence extends far beyond its historical timeline, leaving a permanent imprint on popular culture. This clandestine order, once relegated to the shadows of post-World War I Germany, has managed to transcend time and geography. The society's blend of occult beliefs and political ideology has intrigued and puzzled historians, writers and filmmakers alike. It's not uncommon to see elements of the Thule society's rituals and mysteries woven into works of fiction. From novels to movies, the society's occult practices and complex ideologies have been used to add an air of mystery and suspense. Take, for instance, the references to the Thule Society in comic books. Marvel's Captain America series, for one, introduces an antagonist group known as the Thule Society, clearly inspired by the real-life order. Even in video games, elements of the society's lore have been used to create immersive and intriguing narratives. But it's not just in the realm of fiction that the Thule Society's influence can be felt. The order's secrets and rituals have given rise to numerous conspiracy theories. Some suggest that the society continues to operate in the shadows, influencing global events. Others propose that the Thule Society was involved in the quest for supernatural artifacts, or even the exploration of extraterrestrial life. While these theories may lack concrete evidence, they certainly add to the enigma that surrounds the Thule Society. They fuel ongoing debates about the society's true nature and purpose, inviting researchers and enthusiasts to delve deeper into the society's obscure past. Even today, decades after the society's supposed dissolution, its legacy is kept alive by the relentless curiosity of those who wish to uncover its secrets. The Thule Society has become more than just an historical entity. It's a symbol of the enduring allure of the unknown, a testament to the human fascination with the occult and the mysterious. 
Their legacy continues to fuel debates and research, keeping alive the curiosity about this enigmatic order. The Thule Society, once a mere footnote in the annals of history, has secured its place in the collective consciousness, its influence echoing through the corridors of time. The Thule Society serves as a fascinating study of the intersection between occultism and politics. This enigmatic order, born out of a tumultuous era, was more than just a gathering of like-minded individuals. It was a crucible where spiritual beliefs, political ideologies, and a deep-seated fascination for the arcane merged. At its core, the Thule Society was a reflection of the times, a post-World War I Germany searching for a new identity amid the ashes of the old. The Society's belief in Aryan roots and Nordic mythology was a testament to this, a longing for a glorious past that might illuminate a path to a better future. Their practices and rituals, shrouded in secrecy, were a blend of occultism and nationalism. Mystical symbols and ceremonial meetings were their tools of choice, their means to transcend the mundane and tap into something greater. But this wasn't just about spiritual enlightenment. The society had its sights on influencing the political landscape, using the occult as a lens through which to redefine German national identity. Yet, for all its secrecy and mystery, the Thule society was not immune to speculation and legends. Tales of black magic, quests for mystical artifacts, and other supernatural endeavors have woven a complex tapestry around the society's activities. While many of these tales are speculative, they add to the enigma that is the Thule society. The Society's impact extends beyond its time, seeping into popular culture and inspiring numerous works of fiction and conspiracy theories. Its secrets and rituals continue to fuel debates and research, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. In the end, the Thule Society is a reminder of the intricate dance between occultism and politics, between the seen and the unseen. It's a window into a past where the line between history and myth was blurred, a past that continues to echo in the present. As we stand on the threshold of history and myth, the Thule Society challenges us to question and explore. It beckons us to delve into the shadows of the past, to seek the truth hidden beneath layers of secrecy and speculation. But perhaps most importantly, it invites us to reflect on the power of belief and how it can shape not just individuals, but nations and cultures. Having unraveled the Thule Society, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of understanding. It's here that we must pause to reflect, to ponder the power of belief. Belief, as we've seen, can be an incredibly potent force. It can shape societies, drive political movements, and even influence the course of history. In the case of the Thule Society, belief in the arcane was not merely a spiritual endeavor, but a catalyst for political machinations. It was a beacon of hope in a war-ravaged nation, a tool for instilling a sense of identity and purpose. But belief can also be a double-edged sword. It can blind us to the truth, lead us down paths of extremism, and even breed conflict. As we dissect the Thule Society, it's crucial to remember that its members were not villains in a grand cosmic play, but people driven by their beliefs. They were a product of their time, shaped by the circumstances and ideologies of their era. So as we step back from the shadows of the Thule Society, let's take a moment to ponder the power of belief. Let's question our own convictions, our own truths, because in the end, understanding the past is not just about uncovering secrets or solving mysteries. It's about reflecting on our own beliefs, about learning from history so we don't repeat it. As we delve deeper into the unknown, let's remember that history is not a static entity, but a living, breathing tapestry of beliefs, actions and consequences. And it's through understanding this tapestry that we can hope to navigate the complexities of the present and the uncertainties of the future. Thank you for watching the video. If you're intrigued by the unknown and the stories that history has to tell, subscribe to the iHistory channel. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video to keep the discussion going. And to ensure you don't miss out on our next exploration, activate the notification bell. See you in the next video. Our dive into the Thula Society's secrets is just the beginning. Enjoyed the ride? Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for joining us on this journey. See you in the next exploration.